हेलो एवरी वन आई एम शरण कुमार टी एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बी ए टी एम कॉलेज बल्लारी लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस द करोजन कॉन्सेप्ट इन दैट करोजन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द करोजन एंड द एलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल थेरी ऑफ करोजन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कसड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टाइप्स ऑफ करोजन द टाइप्स ऑफ करोजन इट इज मेजरली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ मेटल एंड द करोजिव एनवायरमेंट इट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द करोजिव एनवायरमेंट एंड द नेचर ऑफ द मेटल सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दीज टू फैक्टर्स दे आर डिवाइड इन टू देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ करोजन अकर्स वन इज डिफरेंशियल metallic corrosion and the second one is differential aeration corrosion one is the differential metallic corrosion the second one is differential aeration corrosion now in detail we will understand one by one first we go to the the first one the differential metallic corrosion differential metallic corrosion so in differential metallic corrosion it is occurs only depending upon the nature of the metal so what type of the metal is used as the anode material and cathode material so depending upon the nature of the metal just we are considering the anode part and the cathode so the anode is always it is highly active highly active with the low reduction potential reduction potential metal so if the metal is highly active in nature with the low reduction potential that type of the metal is used as a anode material the cathode material it is less active in nature with a high reduction potential so that type of that metal is used as a cathode material if the metal is highly active with the low reduction potential it act as anode and if the metal is less active in nature with the high reduction potential it act as a cathode so when you expose this metal to the corrosive environment the anode is highly active and it causes corrosion very easily so that's why the anode part which undergoes corrosion takes place and this the these metals the anode metals and the cathode metals we are choosing by using the galvanic series galvanic series what is galvanic series the galvanic series is nothing but the arrangement of the metal in the increasing order of their standard reduction potential that is called as galvanization process just we are arranging the elements in the increasing order of their standard reduction potential of that particular metal so now i will write the that is galvanic series that is magnesium zinc aluminum iron lead nickel silver tin gold and platinum so in that is the top metals are highly active in nature that's why this metal is act as anode and the below one is it is less active in nature that's why these metals is act as a cathode so now i will write the example of this differential metallic corrosion example just choose the any two metals in the galvanic series i will take zinc and iron metal the zinc and iron in that zinc and iron metal zinc is act as a anode 
and the iron is act as a cathode if you both are exposed to the corrosive environment and the zinc is easily undergoes corrosion but the iron is protected but if you take the iron and gold that is iron and gold the iron is act as a anode and the gold is act as a cathode the iron is act as a anode material and gold is act as a cathode material so once uh, the iron is act as anode the iron is undergoes corrosion takes place but the cathode is not corrosion takes place these two are the best example for differential metallic corrosion so you write any example from this galvanic series you take magnesium and aluminium or magnesium iron and uh, aluminium and nickel or zinc and nickel you take any two metals always the lower reduction potential is it is a anode material higher reduction potential is it act as a cathode material for more information please subscribe my channel thank you thank you one and all